Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, we will discuss on how to customize email notification templates in MSMP workflows. We are all aware that SAP GRC come up with the standard workflows like access request approval workflow, control assignment workflow, UAR workflow, SOD workflow, etc. Now, these workflows can be customized to send out the email notifications. To whom we should send these notifications means to the recipients. Of course, the recipients can also be customized. When these notifications will be sent? These notifications are generally sent based on the occurrence of workflow events. Means, the workflow events include like request submission or request approval or request rejection etc. Whenever this workflow event occurs, automatically a email notification will be sent to the recipient. For this purpose, we can either use the pre-delivered message bodies already existing or we can replace them with our customized text messages. In all these notification messages, we can also use the notification variables uh, that refers to some special request attributes like user ID, request number, etc. So, in this video, we will first discuss what are the standard available notification uh, templates in the system and then we will see the steps of how to customize the notification templates and messages. Now, any workflow event in the access control workflow will trigger the email notification exactly based on the predefined message classes. So, each message class is having one document object uh, which is having the message body of the respective workflow event. The link between this message class and document object we can view in the table grfnv notify msg. You can create your custom objects with the required message bodies that are suitable for our requirements and we can replace that standard document objects in IMG customizing. Let us have a look on standard workflow events. Generally all the workflow process have the four common workflow events. New work item. This is generally used to send the notification to the inbox of the responsible approvers. Second workflow event is approval. So this event triggers when there is an approval of a request or a line item. Third event is rejection. This event triggers when there is a rejection of a request or a line item. Fourth event is escalation. The event generally triggers when there is an escalation of request. These four workflow events are common for all the predefined work processes in GRC access control like access request workflow, access request HR workflow, UAR workflow, SOD workflow, FF long review workflow, control management etc. Now apart from these uh, in the SAP GRC access request and SAP GRC access request HR especially in these two we have a few more events also. The first one is request submission. So this is generally sent to the affected user while submitting the request. And uh, one more thing we have is request approval by email. So generally this is an alternative event uh, which triggers for the new work item only. We have one more thing request forward. This event triggers when the approver will forward the request to another approver. Request closed, the event which triggers at the completion of the request. Email reminder, the event triggers mainly to send the uh, emails to responsible approvers. 
Now these all um, predefined document objects along with this message classes we can see in the GRFNV notify MSG table. In this table when we double click on the message uh, we can see the document associated with that particular message. This can also be viewed by using SC61 T code. Alternatively you can go to IMG customizing GRC in the access control go to workflow for access control click on maintenance msmp workflows select the respective workflow process and you can navigate to the step number four notification variables and templates there also you can find the details of this uh, message classes and associated documents now this is how the table GR FNV notify MSG looks like. So you can see here uh, the default message classes along with the description and the message number. So when we double click on any of the message class, it will open like this, uh, where you can see uh, the description and the document object. So this document object is having the body text. To view that, uh, we can go to this SE61 T code and place this document object there under general text. Then it will show you the message. What is there? Here you can see there are some uh, variables like first name, last name, user ID, request number. These are all notification variables which are used in this uh, message of the email. In MSMP, as I discussed, you can also see in the fourth step uh, as shown here and notifications and the templates where you can see the template ID as well as a message class uh, linked with the document object. Let us have a look on available notification variables. So message bodies included in the document objects will not only contain the static text, but also we have a feature to include this notification variables which refers to this username, request number and other information. Each workflow process will come up with number of notification variables uh, that are available for that template and which belong to it. So these all we can see in the bottom of the screen in the step number four that is variable and templates. We can just uh, uh, select that notification template and under that we can see what all the variables can be used in this notification template. So these variables are used in the document objects. So these notification variables, especially in the message body when we are keeping, we uh, prefix uh, with percentile character. For example, percentile request number percentile. This will replace the uh, access request number. It is also possible to create the additional notification variables and add them to the list. However, to perform this, uh, we required to uh, create the notification variable rule assigned to this work process in the step 2 under maintain rules as shown in the screen. Here if you see this uh, pre-delivered notification variable rule GRAC notif where rule AR, this is a function module actually. So this evaluate the actual values at the runtime of each and every notification variables. Now let us see how to customize this uh, email notifications. So there are three steps here. The first one is we need to create the custom document objects. Second one is we need to associate the custom document object with the message class. And third one is uh, we need to maintain this notification templates in MSMP workflow. First one creation of the custom documents. This can be done using the transaction code SC61 or we can go via uh, IMG customizing activity under the GRC access control workflow access control maintain text for custom notification messages. There we need to select the document class as general text along with the language to be used. Whatever the document you want to create please provide the document name in the name field. So generally this document names are custom documents so we will start with Z. 
Now we can create this document by clicking on the create button. Here it will redirect to some MS Word document where you can enter your message body which is including the variables. As an example here we have included the first name, last name, request number etc. Once we are completed with this configuration uh, we need to save and activate the document. So this is the activate button as it is shown. You can save it in the local object or uh, you can also use a transport request for it. So this is the custom document we created that is uh, the message what need to be sent to the recipient. Now the second step is I should link this custom document to message class. This can be done by using the table grfn notify msg. I can go to transaction sm30 and I can give this table name and I can add the entries for a message class associated with the document object or uh, to override the existing assignment you can go to img customizing navigate to grc access control workflow for access control and click on maintain custom notification messages and you can create the new entries we can associate a message class with only one document at a time because a single message number like 000 is available as shown in the figure uh, when we try to add a new entry in grf and notify message table or uh, via img customizing so these are the details we need to fill the first one is a message class so message class that you want to use to replace that document object and you can use either a standard one or you can create your custom one second one is a message number it is pre-filled uh, generally it fills with triple zero and if you want you can change it to some other number this field is a description this provides a description about the use of message so this description will not appear in any email notification this is just a description for the message what we are creating sender we can give uh, the default sender of this messages whatever the default user id what we create in the grc system to trigger this email notifications uh, check box hide recipients if you have checked it the email will display as an empty list of recipients next one is the subject here we will enter the subject that will appear as a subject line for our email notification now comes with the document object here we will enter the name of the custom document object whatever we have created it previously if required you can give the attachment title and if it is having any attachments you can save this notification message and you can do it at the local object level or as using a transport request now once it is saved this notification message will replace this document which is associated with the messages classes in our msmp workflow step 4 that is under notification variables and templates and this notification message also replaces the entry sap in the owner column to the customer msmp workflow notifications and variables the third step is uh, usage of this custom templates in the msmp workflows so once you have all this notification templates whatever required we need to go to that respective workflow and assign this notification templates in the msmp workflow maintenance there you can also select the recipients of the notifications we have four different pre-delivered agents for this purpose uh, notification to determine the recipients they are current approvers means at each and every stage who is approver other approvers and the requester the user who has been affected by the request if we wish to add any additional agents we can also add them let's see here in this example 
we have selected the workflow process as SAP access request. Uh, the access request and access request HR are the only work process which comes with the message class templates for request submission and a request close as well. So this can be maintained as a global notifications. So as shown in the figure where you can use uh, the end of request what is a template and as well as submission uh, template id here you can replace either the standard one or the custom template id you have created so to trigger this notification templates at a stage level we will select the work process go to that particular uh, uh, path in the fifth step and we will select the path in the path we will select the particular stage and click on the notification settings in the notification settings we can add the notification event and the template id along with the recipient notification event example is like approved means this will trigger when the request is approved and the template id um, can be maintained as standard or the custom whatever we created and the recipient to whom it should trigger this is how the custom notification messages are created and used in msmp workflows so at a glance so creation of this custom notification email messages include three steps the first one is to create the custom document object using sc 6020 code once you created you need to link this custom document object with the message class this can be done by using sm32 code by specifying the table gr fnv notify msg and here please make a note that you can add the custom object to the standard message class or you can create a custom message class and add the custom document object now the third and final step is whatever the message classes and documents which are linked we need to use them via a template id in the msmp workflows so here again you can create your own custom template or you can use the standard template these templates are added at the stage level to trigger the notification for the particular recipients thanks for watching the video for more videos subscribe to our channel